China is increasingly turning to state-led investment to stabilize its economy, hoping mega-infrastructure projects will stimulate local business and create jobs. In late December, China's finance ministry said it had offered local governments an early allocation of 1.46 trillion yuan, $229 billion United States dollars, in quotas for 2022 special purpose bonds to help spur investment and support the economy. A total of 102 mega projects were also included in Beijing's 2021-25 development plan, some of which will be front-loaded, however, Infrastructure spending is viewed with skepticism in some quarters, with critics saying credit-fueled investment could saddle the country with unsustainable levels of local debt. We take a look at five mega-projects that have stoked excitement and controversy in China. Number 1. Sichuan-Tibet Railway. The Sichuan-Tibet Railway is the second rail link between Tibet and hinterland provinces after a connection with Qinghai was launched in 2006. Connecting Chengdu, the capital of Sichuan province, and Lhasa, the capital of Tibet Autonomous Region, the project could reduce travel time from 36 hours to 13 hours. State-owned China Railway Group has listed it as a key strategic project and, after receiving backing from President Xi Jinping, it is viewed as the top priority for China's railway building. Construction on the project, which has a planned investment of 319.8 billion yuan, 50.6 billion United States dollars, started at the end of 2020 and is expected to be completed by 2026. The section connecting Chengdu and the city of Yan in Sichuan province opened in 2018, with the 435 kilometers section between Nyingchi in Tibet Autonomous Region and Lhasa opened in June. The remaining 1,011 kilometers will be built using tunnels and bridges and will travel through territories at a peak altitude of more than 9,000 feet. Number 2. South-North Water Transfer Project. China's grand plan to divert dozens of billion cubic meters of water annually from the Yangtze River in the south to northern regions through three canals has been talked about since the early 1950s. The government has not revealed the exact amount it is investing in the project, but previous market estimates put it at around 500 billion yuan. The Eastern Canal follows the direction of the historic Grand Canal and passes through the provinces of Jiangsu, Shandong and Hebei. The Central Canal, with a length of 1,432 kilometers, starts from Donjongko Reservoir in the central province of Hubei, while the Western Canal starts from three tributaries of the Yangtze River near the Bayan Har Mountains and passes through the provinces of Qinghai, Gansu, Shaanxi, Shaanxi, Inner Mongolia and Ningxia. China approved construction of the Eastern Route and Phase 1 of the Central Route in 2002 and 94.2% .2 was completed by the end of last year. The total volume of water diverted was 9.7 billion cubic meters, 2.1 trillion gallons, in 2021 equivalent to 3.2 million Olympic swimming pools. The total volume of water diverted was 9.7 billion cubic meters, 2.1 trillion gallons, in 2021 equivalent to 3.2 million Olympic swimming pools. As of the end of 2021, some 49.9 billion cubic meters of water has been diverted since the eastern route was opened earlier that year according to the Ministry of Water Resources. In addition to concerns about investment, evaporation and environmental damage, the resettlement of local residents is a major challenge for the project, with government data showing about 330,000 people living near the Donjongko Reservoir and along the Central Route had been forced to shift. In May, she visited the Central Route and hosted a symposium where he said the project was justified to meet the needs of people, as well as to ensure ecological safety and sustainability. Authorities will push forward with follow-up projects along the eastern and central canals, while also beginning the early stage work for the western route, Minister of Water Resources Li Guoying told the 2022 annual work conference in January. Number 3. Yantai Dalian Undersea Tunnel. The proposed tunnel between the eastern city of Yantai and Dalian to the north spans about 90 kilometers under the Bohai Sea and is more than twice the length of the Channel Tunnel between England and France. 
train trips could be slashed from 10 hours to 1 hour and make the need for an 8-hour ferry obsolete. The project was first mooted in the early 1990s, but its feasibility has long been questioned, given the complicated technology required and low transport demand. It gained more prominence after the central government included it in its plan to revitalize northeastern China in 2014. The late tunnel expert, Wang Mengshu, who was deputy chief engineer of China Railway Construction Group and head of the project's strategic planning team, said it would require investment of about 260 billion yuan. The proposal was sent to the State Council for consideration in 2013. Construction plans were submitted to the National Development and Reform Commission NDRC, China's top economic planning agency, for approval in May 2019, but no further decision has been made public. However, there are signs the project could be moving forward. For instance, the high-speed railway station of Peng Lai, a district of Yantai City, has made preparations for cross-Bohai connections. Number 4. Taiwan Strait Tunnel Project. The tunnel was proposed as part of the Beijing Taipei Expressway, which, if completed, would connect the mainland with Taiwan. It has subsequently been included in China's railway development plan. The Fuzhou Taipei section of the high speed railway was also included in the 2021 35 Transport Network Development Plan released by the State Council in February 2021. The project consists of a 126 km undersea tunnel that has been the subject of many academic discussions and feasibility studies, including one organized by the state-owned China Railway Engineering Corporation. Despite the enthusiasm in mainland China, there is an obvious lack of interest from Taiwan, which is regarded by Beijing as a breakaway province that must be united, by force if necessary, it is generally viewed as part of Beijing's manifesto for unification, particularly when tensions across the Taiwan Strait have escalated in the past two years. Number 5. The largest telescope in the world. After years of construction, China's new radio telescope is in action. The telescope, called FAST, 500-meter aperture spherical radio telescope, has doubled the collecting power of the Arecibo Observatory in Puerto Rico, which has a 305-meter dish. Until now, Arecibo was the world's largest radio dish of its type. FAST is made up of 4,450 individual panels and is cradled in a natural basin called the Dawadang Depression in Guizhou, southwest China. It's a fixed 500-meter dish that can't be aimed, and it's not only the world's most sensitive listening device, but the world's largest filled aperture radio telescope, the Russian Ratin 600 radio telescope is a different type of design, and though its footprint is larger, it's not as sensitive. There's still one small hurdle for the facility though. At the end of September, FAST will undergo one final review. Thanks for watching and subscribe the channel for more informative videos at first in your phone.